Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate the opportunity to address the Climate Innovation Summit and thank Climate Kick for inviting me to join you. Last year, governments of the world adopted two landmark achievements, the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Change Agreement. This year, the political will that produced success in Paris resulted in rapid ratification of the agreement, which entered into force in early November. Right now, governments are meeting in Marrakech to discuss the details of how the Paris Agreement will be carried forward. Their discussion must be complemented by a wider discussion about how to achieve transformative change and truly meet the climate challenge. This Climate Innovation Forum is crucial to that wider discussion. Innovation is a spark that ignites transformation. It improves quality of life by rethinking products, processes and practices. And friends, at the very heart of transformational change towards a new sustainable and climate safe development model is the need to improve the lives and livelihoods for the billions of people. So the question is now, how can innovation on climate change fulfill its full potential as a force for good? There are at least three things that every innovator and influencer can do to spur innovation that accelerates climate action. First, we must understand the challenge and what can be done to meet it. For climate change, the challenge is twofold. We must pick emissions and then drive them down quickly to limit warming to as close to 1.5 degrees Celsius as possible. And we must build resilience to climate impacts already loaded in the atmosphere due to years of emissions. Innovating low emission products and practices is the critical path to growth that is decoupled from greenhouse gas emissions. Getting on this path will promote progress in line with the vision outlined in Paris. Building resilience ensures that progress is not put in jeopardy as communities, especially those in the developing world, work to overcome the impacts of climate change. Second, we must build partnerships today for a better tomorrow. Innovations may be the vision of one person. However, it often takes many people working together to turn a vision into reality. Paris showed us the value of collaboration, cooperation and action towards a long-term goal. Everyone must be involved. Governments have set the direction and destination. Now, academia, educators, businesses, investors and inspired individuals must innovate solutions. Together, we achieve our global goals. Third and finally, we must expand the network working on climate solutions. Transformational change will not happen if only national governments and small fraction of the private sector takes action. Transformational change requires engagement and action by every community in every country on the planet. The results of COP22 and the results of the Climate Innovation Summit and the results of the many, many climate and sustainable development conferences can and must be socialized globally. Everyone must be informed and empowered to be part of the solution. Today, I invite you to help in this effort. I am confident that the Climate Innovation Summit will further our understanding of how innovation can help meet the climate challenge. I am sure it will produce partnerships and activate a larger network of innovators. Every one of you will have a different idea of innovation. We need them all. We need innovation in technology, science and finance. We also need innovation to better manage natural systems like forests and soils, in education and in the social sciences with respect to behavioral change and values. There is an urgent need to shortcut circuit the speed at which bright ideas move from the drawing board to an everyday product. This innovation cannot just be developed world-centric. Innovation must match the needs and the aspirations of the developing world too, as well as open opportunity for women, indigenous peoples and youth. I am also confident that what you learn at this summit can help accomplish this. I encourage all of you to apply what you learn here in your academic careers, in your business activity and in your day-to-day -day lives. By working together, we can innovate a better future for all. Together, we can achieve a stable climate, rich with opportunity. We can leave a legacy of sustainable development that serves for generations to come. 
Thank you, and I look forward to seeing what your innovations accomplish.